Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to welcome you all. Today is the third and last day of the Riyadh International Industry Week Summit, and the program will be offering to you very engaging sessions, starting with a fascinating keynote address focusing on the artificial intelligence in manufacturing. The subject will be related to medical industry, which is one of the main concerns of the Saudi transformation. As we all know, one of the realization programs of the Vision 2030 is the Health Transformation Program, which has to be supported by a strong and modern medical industry. The keynote address with the title, AI in Medical Products Manufacturing, is in line with the Health Transformation Program and will be delivered by Professor Hanan Abdurrahman al -Jurayd. Professor Hanan is full professor of artificial intelligence at Princess Nora Ben Abdurrahman University. She is also the director of AI at the Health Research Center. As you might have noticed, Professor Hanan is the right person for the right topic. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage Professor Hanan Abdurrahman al -Jurayd. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ala wa sahbihi wa sallam ajma'een. Thank you for your introductions. Um, actually, the journey of AI in healthcare researcher has been remarkable, evolving uh, uh, the small symbol of systems to, to a huge models and interactive models of uh, AI generations. So uh, the AI generative, generative uh, it's make a huge transfers in, the, uh, in our thinking of a machine learning. So today we will talk about the evolutions of AI in healthcare and uh, special in AI generations and how is it affected in a healthcare uh, uh, fault. When we talk about AI generations, we direct thinking in the main uh, milestones like ChatGPT and uh, DeepSeek. The main milestone as a ChatGPT and DeepSeek transfer our thinking in how the machine thinking and how the machine could be creativity. Uh, so the first thing we should know it's how the machine actually working and what's the meaning of AI generations. The, the AI usually, it's depend on the type of the data and what's the data typing. What's the difference between uh, AI traditional and AI generation? It's the amount of the data. So when we talk about AI generations, that means we talk about millions of, of uh, parameters in a neural networks and also these neural networks is training in a millions and a trillion of a data set, a data sets so actually the ai generation models is a start with the training data a training data and the amount of data it's uh, go direct and affected in the type of a neural networks models, and what's the type of these neural networks models? Usually, it's half a million of the of parameters. Then th these parameters, it's become in a parallel layers to affect it in a different field of the uh, of a machine thinking, and this we call it uh, uh, transforming architectures. Then the steps of a generatives of these uh, transforming architectures. When we go to ChatGPT4, 
ChatGPT Fords is trained and learned in more than 30 trillion tokens of a text. That means it's trained in a huge, a huge data sets. So um, the ChatGPT4 make transform in a thinking of how the text is generations. Uh, the generation of the text, usually it's depend in a million of the parameters of a neural networks. These parameters it could be arrive more than 175 uh, billion parameters and it's affected in more than 100 language. And this language have a multifolds and the transforming and different type of this language multifolds, it's also affected in how the machine and the new contents it will be bring. Okay, this is the, how the AI generation its work actually. And what is the transform that's done in the thinking of a machine and creativity of the machine. We are, we are in a AI in healthcare researcher we have and we're focusing in a multi types of research and projects that focusing on how to use the AI to uh, transform the health and to be more benefits in the health. So the first projects of us in the, um, the first project that we can talk it about it, when we go to AI in healthcare, uh, we can focusing in four tracks. The first track is the diagnosis, and we mean by the, 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 the diagnosis, it's the different type of disease. We can using the AI to diagnose this type of the disease and also to transfer, to use it to a, a prediction of the type of the disease or predictions of the image like X-ray or MRI uh, and may a prediction of the type of the disease that available in this type of the image. The other type it's the uh, surgery systems, other track. Surgery system have a, a huge affections of the using of AI in the surgery system. Uh, also the uh, pharmaceuticals part and how we use AI in the drugs, in discovery of the drugs or in the affections of the drugs in different, uh, according to the patient situations. Also in the manufacturing systems of a healthcare. So this is one article of our publications. In this publications, uh, we're focusing on a computer-aided diagnosis of breast cancer classification. Uh, this paper actually published in Q1 journals under Elsevier and the Class A. Uh, the citation of this paper more than uh, 300. Uh, citations. This paper is discussed about how we can classify the breast cancers uh, in a binary classes or a multi classes by using four models of the AI. Uh, and this model it's the uh, ResNet 18, ShuffleNet, and Inception and V3 Nets. These models is training in a data sets from a real data sets, it's from our hospitals in Princess Noura University, uh, King Abdullah bin Abdul Aziz University, the uh, hospital, university hospital. And when we train these models, we found the best models is the ResNet, where it's uh, the accuracy that it's uh, half it, it's 99.7 percentage. Uh, and then the inceptions, P3, it's half accuracy, uh, 97.66. And our second uh, articles that we published, and this article it's published in Q2 journals, and actually this article is discussions a very important topic about the type or the genes of the cancer cells and how we tracking these genes, what's the different pattern of these genes, how we can recognize the patterns and the, uh, the reactions of the cancer cells in seven type of the cancers. In these papers, uh, 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 as we see, it is half seven type of the uh, cancers. And this type, uh, and it's, uh, um, it's applied in uh, uh, open access 
biblical data sets and compared with the other models that it's applied in the same data sets. Uh, and um, it is depend in the pattern of the cells of cancers and how we recognize these patterns, how we recognize the affections of these patterns in the cancer types, and what's the difference between these patterns in each cancer types. So our models it's have more accuracy than the uh, comparison other models. The third uh, published and the third works that's done in our research here, it's RADIA. And actually, Radio AI, this is not only publication, but it is a, a ready product to be published and launching in, in the marketing. Radio, it's discussed the prediction of abnormal disease in X-ray in a lungs uh, to be prediction and detection use, using four type of the AI models and she's nuts. And these AI models, uh, it is ResNet 50 architectures, Inception V3, and SheistNet X, she's X-ray. Uh, and these, actually, uh, these models, it's have a huge or a, um, a high accuracy, according to other models. And these models, it is a training and testing in a real data, uh, Saudi data, and these, uh, giving us a broad to be published and launching this type of, uh, of project to be available in a marketing and to recognize and predictions the schist, uh, schist and uh, x-rays images of, of different types of patients and abnormal disease. The third, the fourth, actual, uh, the fourth uh, project and this is also, it's ready to be launching in a market, it's marine. Marine, it's not only AI models, but also it is a game for a kids. This game of a kids could be help the kids that's afraid in a rehabilitation kids that have a problem in a hand. Some of the kids afraid to go to the hospitals. So this is help kids to make their rehabilitation in, in house and under the control from their parents and from the hospitals by using these games to help the kids uh, resolving the, the problems that they have it in their hands. And this is this, this uh, project actually, it work in a tracking the handing movement. Three type of the handing movement, the movement of the fingers. This tracking, it's according to a special game, give a kids a game. And then tracking these games, uh, tracking the movement of the hand of the, ki of the kids according to, if it's moving quick, uh, usual, uh, according to uh, track, uh, according to observations from the hospitals. And the, uh, there's three type of uh, motions. The first one, the motion of the fingers. The second one, motion of the hand up and down. And the third one, the motion of the thumbs. And actually, it's a game. In the back of the games, there's AI models, a tracking of these finger, how does it work with the kids, and give the observations and the behavior, the true behavior of the kids to make this, the rehabilitation of these type of the models. Okay, uh, this, is, this is about our research chairs. Uh, when we go to international uh, market, marketing, we found uh, uh, companies that have a great uh, success stories on using AI, like uh, the, these companies, three type of the company. The first one is Midtronk. Metronk implement a comprehensive AI generations across multiple production lines uh, and, these, uh, and have to improve the production efficiency. And the second one is a seminous illness. Seminous deploy AI driven production manufacturing systems uh, to reduce uh, component failures. And actually this is 
increase uh, the success of the AI driving systems to reduce the failure of the co component up to three weeks before the, its wood occurs. And the third one is Striker. Striker implement an AI quality system that provides an estimation $12 million to potential recalls of identifying subtle but pattern of reduction data. This is about our uh, researcher and about the companies that use the AI in a healthcare. When we go back to the AI generations, and when we talk in AI generation, yes, it is a huge advancement and a huge rapid uh, that's done in our thinking on the machine, but actually it's half ethical considerations. The rapid advancement of AI generation raises serious ethical questions about intercultural properties and also about the copyright, the, the owners of these contents, that prediction by AI generations. And it's owned by who? By AI generations or the people that the, the content is prepared from. Also, we have other problem that is a data bytes. Actually, the data sets, it's training uh, in a spe special system and special type of the data. And when this data set and data system moving to other applications, so it's advising for special type of the data. The other problem that we could have it is a misinformation risks. The confidence of the AI generations model could be lead us to in fact or a, blo a problem in, uh, in the type of uh, uh, true list of the, these informations. Also, the, the labor markets, the job disciplinance and augmentation of this one. Okay. Okay, actually also there's challenges and limitations of AI. Yes, it is a great uh, disabets their impressive capabilities, but AI, it's a generative system still with uh, holistic information and also the fact of uh, how the confidential present incorrect information in a fact and the limitation was a serious challenges. There's other problem, it's in a computational cost. Actually, the computational cost of a huge model of AI, it could be, uh, it's need uh, more than $4.3 million. And this has lead to other problem, it is the informational impacts. The inform informational impact, um, uh, training of a single AI models, it could be, uh, generate over 300 tons of carbon dioxide, uh, equivalent to the lifetime emissions of those of cars. And this is a big problem, actually, of uh, the AI models and the researchers work to solve this type of problem. When we go to the future of AI, The next front in AI generation involve truly multi models. These models could be talked together and could be solved the, pro the problem along together from system to system without any human uh, interactions. And also uh, the personalizations of the data, that means the model it could be work in a personal specials uh, with, uh, and uh, training and individual performance as styles, also the efficiency of the models and the collaborations with the human. The collaboration with the human, and this is very important points that could be balanced between the human effect and the AI machine effects to be, to have a balancing in information. So this is for our today, um, talk and thank you for your listening. If there's any questions, you can send the questions to this emails. It is the email of the, our researcher. Thank you and welcome.